Blizzard, the new hero is finally here to join the party and break the ice by bringing super fascinating abilities and amusing gameplay mechanics. Her fresh playstyle is going to turn around the sniper category approach upside down, even though she's kinda similar to Firefly's playstyle. If you are a Firefly fanatic you will definitely understand what I mean. Her main ability is much more useful than grenade ability in my opinion for a sniper hero, as she can deploy it in those locations where you can expect enemies might rush you from to protect your back, and then simply wait for your prey to fall for the bait. Not only that, but Blizzard's main ability has a passive as well. That gives her a shield to protect herself temporarily along with her team. Same to all the new hero's abilities, especially Ball Lightning by Tess, which makes her a great hero for the support role. Blizzard's weapon is a sniper rifle that bursts three shots at the same time, making her a solid pick against the one and the only Firefly for face-to-face -face encounters. The difference mainly between the Fireboy Firefly and Ice Girl Blizzard is that she can function solo on her own. Unlike Firefly, who needs to depend on his team a lot for better results, I believe that Blizzard is going to completely shake up the meta as we already have so many aggressive type heroes. And with the upcoming of Blizzard, she's going to be a huge asset to elevate the gameplay that we know currently in Bullet Echo. Now, Let's talk a bit further about her Freezing Minds ability and how it works exactly, because it's the standout feature about this hero so far, especially for the fact that many of us have been asking the devs to add this ability. The first thing you need to know about these Freezing Minds is that they are not entirely invisible to your enemies. So after you place one on the battlefield, Enemies can still find your mines if they are moving slowly or by using either the thermal or the scan ability. The mine will detonate if you enter the radius zone of the mine, but you can avoid the explosion if you are behind a wall or you cover yourself quickly with an obstacle. I think we should treat the freezing mines the same as Leviathan turret ability before the shield. Meaning, that if you have deployed a freezing mine, but you are still visible in the enemy sight, he will apparently guess there are some freezing mines nearby. That's why make sure to hide yourself.